Hello friends, welcome back to another session of Web Technologies. In today's class, I'm going to discuss about anatomy of JSP page. So what is a JSP? JSP stands for Java Server Pages. And it is a kind of scripting language in which we can embed Java code along with the HTML elements. So it is simply a regular web page with JSP elements and the template text. You can place all the static HTML in a JSP page just as in a regular web page and add JSP elements to generate the dynamic parts of the page. So there are three kinds of elements, JSP elements, and let us take a look at the elements first, and then we'll come back to the anatomy of the JSP page. So the first elements are the directive elements, uh, so which are shown in this particular table. So these directive elements specify information about the page itself that remains the same between requests. For example, if session tracking is required or not, the buffering requirements and the name of a page that should be used to report errors and so on. So these are the uh, directive elements. So it starts with a uh, less than and then a percentage and then a trade symbol. So if you have a page here, then defines the page dependent attributes such as session tracking error uh, page and buffering requirements if there is an include over here so includes a file during the translation phase and then if there is tag lib uh, declares a tag library containing custom actions that is used in the page so at the end there is a closing uh, for this particular tag which is percentage and then a greater than symbol so these are the directive elements now let us look into the second elements which are the action elements so these are all the action elements. The action elements typically perform some action based on information that is required at the exact time the JSP page is requested by a browser. An action can, for instance, uh, it is like add to parameters, send with requests to do a database lookup and so on. It can also dynamically generate HTML such as a table filled with information retrieved from an external system. So these are all the action elements. So you can see JSP uh, colon use bean. So which makes the Java bean component available in a page. Then you have get property. So gets a property value from the Java bean component and adds it to the response. And set property sets the Java bean component property value. And then include includes the response from a servlet or JSP page during the request processing phase. And then forward forwards the processing of a request to servlet or the JSP page. And then you have param adds a parameter value to a request handed off to another servlet or JSP page. And then you have plumbing generates HTML that contains the appropriate browser dependent element needed to execute an applet with the Java plugin software. So these are all the list of action elements. Now we'll see the third kind of uh, elements, which is nothing but the scripting elements. Elements allow you to add small piece of code. Typically, it would be a Java code in a JSP page. Um, uh, like actions, uh, they are also executed when the page is requested. So these are all the uh, scripting elements. So you can see the first one is the um, scriptlet used to embed the scripting code. So in between this less than percentage, you can put the scriptlet code. Or java code and then you have the expression tag scripting element uh, in which like you can put the expressions and then this is the declaration so if you have any variables to be declared um, and the methods in the uh, java, uh, jsp page then you can put it inside this particular tag okay so these are all the three kinds of uh, elements of the jsp now we know all these three elements now let us get back to the anatomy of the jsp so this is the anatomy of the JSP page. So the first one is what? So that is the directive element. So this is the directive element. And uh, then you have this HTML uh, head and then this title and then head and then this body. All these are nothing but the template text. Okay. So what is meant by the template text? Template text can be HTML, WML, XML or simply a plain text. Everything in the page that isn't a JSP element is called as a template text, okay? So this is nothing but the template. This is nothing but the template 
text. Okay. So again, we have some uh, scripting. This is nothing but the scripting tag, scripting element. So this is again the JSP element. All the code that we have written here is Java. Okay. So typically we will be writing the Java code. Okay. Okay. So this is the JSP element. This is the JSP element and which is nothing but the scripting element. So this directive is also the JSP element, which is nothing but the directive element. And then this is the template text. Okay, so this is the template text. And then this body and HTML, this is also again the template text. Okay, right. So our JSP page, uh, a JSP page uh, will be con uh, consisting of um, JSP element and then the template text. This template text can be HTML or WML or XML or simply a plain text. I'll show you another example. This example, you can see the first one is the JSP element, which is nothing but the directive element. Then you have the HTML code, which is nothing but the template text. And this is the action element, okay? So JSP element, action element. And then this is the simple HTML code, which is the template text. And then this is the action element. This is HTML, and then you have the action element again, and then this is the template. Okay, so uh, generally, uh, people think that uh, JSP has got a lot of dependency with HTML, but JSP and them, HTML do not have any dependency. Uh, the reason why people think that they both have dependency is because um HTML is by far the most common web page language in used to them. So that's the reason why people think that JSP and HTML. Mostly JSP is embedded into HTML because all the browsers today are have the common web page language, which is HTML. So that's the reason why people think that uh, JSP and HTML are dependent, but they are not. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you so much.